This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar providing an introduction to 360 VR. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to edit 360 VR video in Adobe Premiere Pro CC. Specifically, let me show you how to create and modify sequence settings, how to display 360 VR in the program monitor, how to change the center of the frame, how to find and use effects that are optimized for VR, how to add and modify titles for VR, how to add transitions, and how to export a finished project. Let's import the high-quality stereo file that we just exported, plus a high-quality mono file to give us two VR files to work with. And let's also import a mono file. Yeah. Let's import a mono file. Premiere uses what's called auto-aware importing. It knows what the clip is at the moment of import and recognizes the difference between a VR clip and a standard video clip. As far as importing is concerned, importing is exactly the same for VR as it is for other video types. The easiest way to create a new VR sequence in Premiere is to right-click on the VR file and scroll down to where it says New Sequence from Clip. Okay, so now we have our video inside Premiere. I'm going to hold the Option key down and get rid of the audio because it's nice to have it's just the sound of the, the water coming in, but it's not necessary. Now let's change our sequence settings and make sure that it's showing a VR clip. Shows our frame size. It's vertical one-to-one, -one, but we need to tell it that it is VR. That happens down here at the bottom. We're going to change that to Equa Rectangular. We're going to say it's monoscopic. We have the choice between stereoscopic and mono. Over under is what the views creates. We're going to work with monoscopic. We're going to see that it's a 360 horizontal and 180 degree vertical and click OK. We have to change the setting for the sequence after we bring the clip in. And it says, heads up, pay attention. So now we're working with a VR sequence but we don't see the VR sequence. How can we see it? There's several ways. Here's the easiest. Click the plus button and open up the button editor. And you see this button right here. It says toggle VR display. Bring that toggle VR display down and click OK. Now when you click it, we see a VR display. We're able to look at the picture and see what it looks like. It looks normal as opposed to before. We can also get to the same thing by clicking the wrench, and inside the wrench, notice it gives us an option for VR video. Enable is exactly the same thing as turning that button on and off, just to have to go to the wrench icon. We can show controls, which I like seeing, but we're going to turn them off so we can make the picture bigger. Now the percentages disappear. And when we go to settings, we're able to say whether it's the left eye or the right eye that we're working with. In this case, it's a mono clip. It makes no difference. We can adjust the view and click OK. So whether you add the VR toggle button or access the wrench, now we're able to view our clips inside the program monitor. And this option exists in a source monitor as well. If we click here, there is our view VR button right here, toggle VR that we can add to the source monitor. Editing and trimming VR is exactly the same as any other video format. If I want to cut between one clip and another clip, let's just grab this one, drag it down. I'm going to hold the Option key, get rid of the audio, trim this in, trim this in, and click here. Play this. Play it. Cuts work, but other transitions, which are specifically designed for VR, work better. Let me illustrate. Go to Effects, do a search for VR. We have two choices, Immersive VR for video effects and video transitions. I'm going to just use a random blocks transition, drop that in, make it longer. And the blocks then come in, I'm going to use the arrow key. See how the blocks look like they're painting out as part of a globe? 
a standard transition is going to look very flat. It's going to look very unusual because it doesn't know the sphere nature of VR. So you want to work with transitions which are stored inside the video transitions under VR. Let's make that disappear. We got lost to choose from. It's easy to play with. If I want to change the location of what's centered, I'm going to add the rotate sphere effect on top of the clip and go to effect controls. What rotate sphere allows me to do is to say, where is the center point? When you open this video, what are you going to see? Well, I want to pan the Y axis and say, I want to look at, this is where I want to start. And now when I play the clip, it opens here. Now the viewer at that point can go wherever they want. As soon as they open the file, I've lost control over what they're looking at. But I can at least make sure that they're looking at what I want them to see at the very beginning of the clip. And you use that with the rotate sphere effect. One of the things that we can't do, though, is we can't hide the tripod. I can't adjust where the tripod is. There's that symbol that was added by Views VR Studio software. And there's the handle of my tripod, which I will make a point never to shoot again. That one I can't fix. This one we just have to live with. So what it does is it puts that logo there. If you're doing Premiere, you could put a photograph of uh, the sand and replace it with that in VR Studio. And Final Cut gives us better options. Let's say that I want to add a title. So let's go to Graphics. We'll add this one right here. Drop it on top. Okay. With a title, the title is 2D placed upon 3D footage. We need to change the shape of the title. To do that, we go to Plane to Sphere right here, VR Plane to Sphere, and drop that on the title. What we've just done is we've now added our title and made it appear as part of the sphere. You can see it way back there. Select our title. And... We can make it bigger, but now the title is spherical so that it fits better as we move, wait a second, fits better as we move around the frame. It is tracked to that part of the frame. We can then do styling, and there's a whole lot we can do with titles inside VR, but we have to convert it from a 2D title to a 3D title, and we do that with the plane to sphere setting applied to the text. Before we leave Premiere, I want to talk about exporting. Exporting VR is exactly the same as exporting any other video format, except for one setting, which you need to be sure of. Scroll all the way down to the bottom of the export panel and make sure that Video is VR is checked, and then set the layout to be either monoscopic or stereoscopic. As long as those two are set, People will be able to open your VR movie and watch it on either their computer or headsets and get the full VR effect. H.264 is a great distribution format. It's not a good editing format, but a great distribution format. And the rest of the compression settings are exactly the same as you've worked with before. The only difference is making sure that this part down here is checked. Otherwise, it's going to act like it's a normal video and nobody's going to be able to get the spherical look around effect that you've got. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar providing an introduction to 360 VR. For the complete version of this online training, please visit my store at larryjordan.com store and look for Webinar 271. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,900 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.